question. So the next question is, how do I ask something like this? I feel defeated by triggers in my life and in my environment. Why would I want to build from that? How do I address this? Gratitude and wholeness, wholeness and balanced vibrations. Definitely have been there before. Tearing the whole damn thing that is worth nothing. Seeing how fast it was able to crumble. But to start to lay that found is to lay it on truth. Don't, un don't underestimate anyology. Don't underestimate having the ability to know who you truly are and how that empowers you. Don't underestimate the power of the resonance. It would be to underestimate the balance of the gods who are within you. So meaning that all of that that you're feeling is because your temple, your temple is suffering. Your pillars are broke. This is a great time to rebuild then but know what you're rebuilding and don't just look at that because that's why meditation is so important because you'll look at it and be like, I don't have time for this. Remember, you're already broken. If, you, if this is the state, you're already broken. So you're only going to get transmissions that this is not a solution. This is not a solution. That's what a broken mind thinks. There's no solution. So you can no longer listen to your mind. And it's great that you're not just your mind. Listen to what you truly are. Reflect your, to yourself what you truly are. See your ideology path and then start bringing in those resonance. Bring in those herbs. Spend that time in nature. Spend that time around things that connect with nature. Nature is going to have more as a life giver, as a nourisher. It's going to have more, let's say, pity, if you may, we use that word. It's going to have more pity for you than anybody that you can ever explain that to. It's going to see you there as its child. And like I said, not you, we only imagine it sometimes in the netherworld gods because that's what they keep bringing up all the time and their attitudes and their selfishness and their behaviors. But not mentioning that there's also beings that are in complete balance to help you here with balance. That when they see you really making an effort, then they're going to bring you into the space. They're going to bring you into the awareness of self and who you are. Someone says, what is an easy way to dial into self and maintain a pure and direct question, connection to source for people who haven't practiced this, especially when the Internet is going to be clogged or even cut off? OK, go out to nature. Just sit there. You don't have to ask uh, how to do something that you do naturally. If there's already you're going to be cut off and you feel like that is over. You've never done this before and you don't understand any of this. This is flying over your head. Meditate. Learn how to breathe. That's the easiest way. You're saying you want the, the what the easy way? Okay. <laughs> well, first of all, Mount Maru, unless you got really big calves and really thick legs, is not one of those easy routes. So lose that whole easy thing, right? If you're saying, where am I going to get the most results? That's proper English. You're going to get the most results by learning how to breathe. Once you realize the power within the breath, you can check out the whole body breathing videos, do not desist until you realize the power of the breath. If you're sitting there and you're like, I don't feel anything, keep going. Do not let it convince you that it doesn't do anything. There are millions, if not billions of souls who have been able to elevate themselves into greater states of consciousness off of what is free. And that's the breath. So that's going to have the greatest level of, uh, of impact and greatest level of, uh, of transformation within uh, someone who doesn't know anything about this and what's going on. Then once you take your breaths, if you feel like you're ready to come back into this, you may check out the Keymaker series because that's a good one-on-one -on -one from what everyone tells me. It's a good one-on-one -on -one to get a good crash course in metaphysics. Keymakers is always available online or wherever it is. You can download it so that you'll have it there on your laptop or whatever if they cut it all off. But that's going to give you more instructions on what to do as a step-by-step. -step. Start with the breathing. That's where I started, and it opened everything up for me because I realized that the best things in life were still free. And that I actually can take myself really high on just air.